Okay, so this is the rancher problem. You've got 800 feet, right? So you have to look at this like a rectangle now. Do you all know why I'm using W's and L's? Length and width. You guys are sharp. And the perimeter here is 800 feet. So 800, 100, 800 has to be equal to how many L's? Three L's or three W's? Three W's and two L's? Okay. And I just like writing L. You can use X and Y, too. It doesn't matter. I just like writing L's. And I like my little W's with little wings on the sides. Then, this is what is given. So you're always going to have two things coming out of these things. A given, which I know it doesn't seem like that's given in that word problem, but it is. And then you have something that you want to try to maximize. In this case, when you read through there, it says find the dimensions that maximize the enclosed area. So you have to maximize the area. And that is, what's the, how do you find the area of a rectangle? Length times width. Now, we have just talked about these things called ver a vertex. That's either the maximum or the minimum of a, ver of a quadratic, right? L times W is going to give you basically that quadratic equation. So what's going to happen is you don't want this in two variables. You want it in one variable, one letter. Or you want it in one, one letter. So I'm going to take this up here. You're always going to do this. You're going to take the given equation. So I'm going to take the given equation. And solve... For one of the variables, you reckon it matters which one I pick, which variable you pick. It don't. It don't. It don't matter. So you you pick which one you want. So you tell me which one you want to try to pick. You want to try to pick the L, solve for L, or solve for W. I would like to solve for L because eventually I'm going to divide by two, and dividing by two is a little bit easier. Halves are a lot easier than thirds, so I'm going to divide by two here. So we'll take the 800. Uh, can I go ahead and move the 3W over without writing this twice? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and write the 3W over this, 800 minus 3, 3W. And then we're going to divide by two. So you can just leave it like that if you want. You want to leave it like that, or you want to try to divide stuff out, or what's 800 divided by 2? 400 minus when 3 divided by 2? 3 halves. So we could actually write that as 1.5, couldn't we? Now we get rid of all them nasty fractions. That'd be sweet. That's that's and that's one of the reasons why you said you wanted to, to solve for L because you can have nice, easy fractions, or decimals, I mean. So now that you have this, what do you reckon we should do? Okay, so we're going to plug in to the max equation. So what I mean by that is that L right there this right here, this whole thing I'm going to circle, is L. That is the same thing as your length. If you take 400 minus 1.5 times the width, you'll get the length. So these two are interchangeable parts. And like old Eli Whitney, he was a guy that did interchangeable parts, right? Cotton Gin, Eli mm -hmm. Whitney, Sam McCope, Henry Ford, interchangeable parts. It was neat because you can just, just plain old take it out and replace it with anything else. So that L there becomes 400 minus 1.5 W. That L right there. So I'm going to start in that third perspective here. That L becomes 400 minus 1.5 W. That L right there does. But I've still got this other W. And here is where you get your quadratic. Because if you distribute your W, you get
get a quadratic equation. Now you want to maximize this equation. You want to find the vertex. So negative v over 2a, what's your b value? 400. And your a? You sound so happy when you say those two numbers. <laughs> I'm happy too. Just glad this winter advisory. Better run and get your get your milk and your bread. Have you been watching the show uh, 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 Doomsday Preppers on Nat Geo? It falls around these crazy people that are like hoarding food and and money and and guns and bullets and all kinds of stuff so they can prepare for doomsday. It's kind of scary what kind of people are out there. But like there was this one family. It looked like they lived on the on some kind of compound somewhere. They built their house out of storage containers. Those big steel storage containers on, on ships. So it, they're, they're crazy people. Anyways, 400, that's familiar, isn't it? 400 divided by 3. 400 thirds. Now, if if this is W right here, then this is W. If you solved, if 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 you have a variable that's W's here, then this is the W. It does matter. The width is 400 thirds. It matters. If this is W, then that's W. Of course, in, in Hawks, you just got to put them in the boxes. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't matter. Never mind. Well, I'm not recording this. No, you cannot just simply divide by four. It's horrible. Why would you do such things? <laughs> this is much quicker. So now you need to find the length. So you can do it either way. You can either look at your picture you drew. Right? You drew a picture up here. You could just you could just write that in. Well, this is 400 thirds, this is 400 thirds, and this is 400 thirds, which means that means you've got 400 feet tied up right there out of 800. That means you have to use 200 on the links. You can think of it that way. That'd be fine. Or you can use, this gives you the length right here. So if I use that right there, 400 minus 1.5 times 400 thirds equals L. And that should come up to 200. Punch that in your calculator. It's too late in the night to be multiplying fractions. Come on now. I'm just kidding. It's, it just gives you 200? Okay. And that's what we come up to begin with just by simply dividing by 4 and looking at the picture. But you got to do what you got to do.